everyone, I'm Bree, your attention coordinator. I'm Eric, the new guy on the team. <laughs> and I'm Anne. And today we wanted to talk to you about um, 10 different ways that we found that you could de-stress from work. I mean, everyone, no matter what you're doing, work is stressful. Um, and so some of these tips are just going to help you unwind and relax. Well, the first one on our list is to get a head start. This one might be harder for me and a lot of other people. Uh, it's hard for me to crawl out of bed in the morning, but uh, it recommends to get a 30-minute head start on one of your days. So get up a little bit earlier, get a 30-minute start. Yeah, the second one on our list here is bring snacks. Now, I'm a big snack person. It definitely gets me through my day if I have, you know, certain items to help propel me to the next hour. So, you know, start off your morning with a um, you know, nice cup of coffee or whatever you like to drink during the day and bring some extra little food with you. Um, if you're feeling down or chocolate stressed bar. out, take a fiber, you know, <laughs> grab a chocolate bar. Absolutely. I really love that one. Another good one is to give yourself some credit. I guarantee no matter what your job is, you're working hard at it, and that's you know going to be wear and tear on you. So definitely take time out of your day to kind of pat yourself on the back and remind yourself that you're working hard and you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Next on the list, uh, schedule 10 minutes of worry time. Uh, for me, I spend most of my day worrying, so maybe just scheduling <laughs> 10 minutes of time might make it a little free and easier. But uh, schedule, schedule some worry time. Find the time to just bulk it in there. Mm -hmm. Another one to de-stress your work day is to manage that email. Um, if you've maybe taken a leave of absence or a vacation, you come back and it just never seems to end. The best way to do this is just find a quiet time um, and just bust through it, get through those emails. If you can't handle them all at once, just do 10 in one sitting and come back. Uh, but once those are off your plate, you'll be feeling a lot less stressed. Another one that's super important is stretching. I know it might sound silly, but I mean, especially if you have a job like ours where we're sitting down more often than we're standing up, um, it's, you know, <laughs> that's not easy on your body. Even taking, you know, three minutes out of your day and just doing some <laughs> raises, oh, Woo -hoo! just getting out of your chair and just walking quickly around can really help your body kind of sit back and go back into that mode comfortably. Uh, another one, have a perspective reminder. We stress about so many little things in our life that sometimes it's good to just keep it in perspective. You know, you're really worried about this time or this meeting or, or, or getting this call in or sending this email. Just keep it in perspective. You know, it's, it is a big part of your day, but it's not the end of your day. So keep it in perspective and make sure that you understand that when you leave at 5 o'clock or whatever time you may leave, that uh, that's where it stays is right there in perspective. Definitely. Uh, the next one here, we have plan ahead. Uh, teachers do this. Supervisors do this. The night before, or probably a lot earlier than that, um, you plan ahead your coming week or your next day. Taking time to do this will kind of help you to see where you're at, where you're going to be the next day. That way, when you leave work, you can just trust that your calendar has it all planned out for you. So take that time to really make sure you're scheduled properly and you've planned ahead for the next day. Great. And, and off of Anne's, I'm going to use the example of, I mean, the weather's going to get worse as much as I hate to say Don't it. Don't want to hear that. Don't want to hear that. The weather is going to get worse here in the winter, and that's a huge issue with transportation for everyone. So I think another way to plan ahead is just um, have some backup transportation. Check the weather before you go to bed at night for the next day. If it's going to be a huge snowstorm, make sure you're prepared for that in every way that you can be. Definitely. Uh, socializing with colleagues is a big part of it. Nothing makes your day go by faster than to know that you're in a friendly environment. If you dread where you were, you walk in, you don't want to talk to anybody, it just seems like the clock ticks that much more slowly. So, you sound like you know a lot about that. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Anyways, no. So socialize with your colleagues. Find uh, some common interests. In, you know, it just makes your day go by that much faster. Um, it makes you enjoy coming into work. Definitely. Yep, and the last one here, remind yourself why. We all work for a reason. Obviously, we're here for um, you know, supporting our families, or you do it for loved ones, or for yourself. Remind yourself why. So grab a couple pictures of your family or whatever makes you happy and why you come to work each day. Um, just keep yourself um, intact with why you come to work, and it will help you to uh, enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, thanks, everyone, for tuning in with us today. It was 
Claude Jurgi giving you our little insight here, and we will see you again next week.